I knew that going into uh, the ceremony, I needed two votes. I played the game until the last 10 minutes. Um, I played my heart out, and I tried hard lobbying for votes. I knew I didn't have them, and at that point, you know, uh, I realized that it was my time to go, and I played the game as long and as hard as I could, and I was stepping back out of a game and into reality. What you see in there is a character. What you see in there is a persona. It's not me, it's not a representation of me. Um, I wanted to make sure that everyone knows that this is not reality, this isn't real. Um, outside is real. Uh, now you go back into the real world and um, everything that you do in that house is the exact opposite as you would approach in real life. <laughs> It's not the speech I would have given because right now it puts yourself in a difficult spot because she's still in that house and she came off as very cocky. Um, you want to definitely be humble when you're winning, especially in the house because it's magnified. I would have taken a different route. Um, do I falter for doing that? No. I mean, I think youth and inexperience is partly for, to blame for that, um, but I definitely would have taken a different approach. Maybe, uh, you know, just continue to play the game. I, I think she kind of showed her hand too soon on that one. I'm one of the best game players in that house. It was absolutely a smart move. I knew it from the minute he won HOH. If I don't win the veto competition, I will probably go home. I would want myself out. I'm a scary person in that house. Why would you want the biggest threat still there? It, it doesn't make sense. Um, I knew that going in, but I definitely wasn't going to lay down as soon as he nominated me. I wasn't going to roll over and say, oh, well, you know, it's time. Uh, no, I was going to keep fighting. I was going to try and turn the tables on him, try and spin it to the best way I could, and, and that's what I did. I kept fighting the whole time. <laughs> I'll actually probably walk up to him and shake his hand and say, hey, you played a hell of a game. I think he played it just as good as uh, anybody could have. He, he did the right move at the right time, both both scenarios, from the coup d'etat to, to this move, backdooring me. It was the right move. Am I bitter? No, I'm not bitter. Um, am I angry that I lost? Yes, I'm competitive. I hate to lose at anything. If we play chess, I'm still going to win. Um, you know... You don't like to lose, and some people have that fire in them, and that's why I'm mad at myself. Uh, I do not blame Jeff at all. It was the smartest move he's done in the game. If it's on my end, I have no problem keeping in contact. If he still harbors, you know, any personal uh, vendetta or just anger, that, that's on him. I, To me, everything I said in that house and did was all game. Uh, whether it was personal or not, and I crossed that road, you know, you signed a release form, you jumped into Pandora's box. Um, hey, anything was game. You could have said anything to me. I tried to reverse the role on people sometimes by saying personal attacks are not right. But then if you notice, I do it too. So it, I was making it pretty clear that I was going to cross that line and you could do it too. Um, you have to have a tough skin in the Big Brother house. And I have a very thick skin, so it doesn't bother me. It's, I think it's funny half the time when it comes out. <laughs> I was actually planning on sticking to it for the reason that I think I could be, well, I know I can be Jeff and Jordan in any competition heads up. My alliance, a final two alliance, was, was with Michelle, so I was planning on the fact that she wouldn't take the opportunity to take me out because really besides her, there's no other villain in the house now, and not a lot of people were very fond of Michelle, so I tried to make it quite clear to her, with me in this house, you have a shot at getting votes in the jury house, with me gone your hill is this much steeper to climb. So, as much as you don't like me, or even if you hate me, you need me. And I don't know if she understood the concept of, you know, the entire game, or maybe she has another plan to mine. I would have put up Jeff, and I would have put up Kevin, with the hope that Kevin would go home. If Kevin was to take himself off the block, at that point, I was going to put up Jordan or Natalie. Um, I was banking on the fact that I did want Jeff up there because if I put Jeff up there, um, you know, one, it rattles his cage, and, and two, 
if he does happen to go home because someone takes himself off, still a person out. Was I planning on sticking to the Final Four? Yes. Um, you know, I, I, I really wanted Kevin and Natalie out. I thought Kevin's the smarter out of the two. And uh, I didn't want him there in the Final Four. He's, he's a smart kid. He downplayed it. The coup d'etat. Jeff um, pulled off the best move in the house with that. You know, up to that point, I thought my move of evicting Ronnie was the best move. Jeff evicting Jesse was the smartest thing he could have done. He opened the game wide open again. Jesse had too many people protecting him. He had Natalie, Shima, um, he had, uh, you know, countless people. Who else was out there protecting him? Lydia, Lydia um, it, me. There were too many people on his side. So the, the game, as it stood, was going to be won by Jesse. You know, and it was a smart move. No, uh, I definitely had a strategy. I, I wanted, one, to start off with personal attacks because if I personally attack you, the natural reaction for you is to fight back and defend yourself. Not only that, it makes you mad. And when you get mad, you say things that you normally don't want to slip. I wanted to personally attack him, rattle his cage, make him angry, and at that point, he would spill the beans that he planned to backdoor me the whole time. He can't be trusted because he had this plan and had an alliance with me, and he's greedy. I wanted to out him as someone that you can't trust in this game um, and, and let everyone else see that in an open setting. So I definitely had to start off with a personal attack and then switch it to, well, Oh, you did plan on backdooring me. Okay, I'm glad you just said that in front of everyone. And then it started to escalate and I could take it more towards the game route. So that was my method. No, I have absolutely zero regret. People don't understand. When you walk into this game, you are open to any sort of criticism. You're a chess piece. I don't discriminate on race, uh, you know, religion, or sex. When you walk in, you're a game player. I don't care if, uh, what you are, yellow, black, white, uh, male, female. So why should I treat you differently? And that's the approach I took. I was going to treat everyone the same. Um, and personal attacks are a way of psychologically getting in someone's head, unraveling them, making them second guess themselves, and you can also get them to say things that they normally wouldn't. Um, if I talk to you calmly, you're not going to divulge that you were going to backdoor me. Why would you do that? It makes no sense. So it was a tactic I used. It's an intimidation tactic. Um, it worked a lot during the season, and it helped you know my villain role. I, I was the villain of the house, and it worked to my advantage, and um, I wish it would have worked a little bit better. But <laughs> I was thinking about this last night in the hotel. What, what, what could I have done differently? And I don't know if there was really a lot of mistakes that I made. Maybe I divulged too much at some point uh, by trusting Michelle and letting her run with some secrets. I definitely should have just at some points kept my mouth a little bit tighter, you know, and not spill too much of the beans. But my tactic with her was to open up to her because then she would feel comfortable around me. Jeff and Jordan were together. Kevin and Natalie were together. I needed her um, to trust Russell. I've been doing it since 2004. I had my first fight in Gladiator Challenge, um, and I've been competing ever since then. And uh, and I do I have to prove myself to Jeff? No, I mean that's his opinion. <laughs> you know, I, I wrestled in college for five years, D1, Pac-10. Does he think that um, I wrestled in college? I, I don't care. Uh, you know, I, I'm. If, if he wants to go through a record book with me and, and sit down and look at it, I'll be happy to show him. I, it doesn't bother me. It's, it's just, I think it was his way of trying to figure out who I was because I was so many different people and a lot of people were thrown off by it. They didn't know if I was really a lawyer. They didn't know if I was a fireman. They didn't know if I was a fighter. They didn't know if I was, uh, you know, a commercial real estate broker. They don't know. But I am all those things, so.